Hello everyone and welcome to, I don't fucking know what episode this is, I think it's 12, but don't quote me on that. Uh, let's, well, welcome back to Let's Play Gears of War, at the very least, as always, I am your host Josh, with me is Dalton, say hello. Hello. Let's go. Let's go to solo campaign, or co-op campaign, close co-op campaign. Oh, oh, it, okay, it did, uh, okay. Invite friend, it did work. Invite, there we go. Connecting. Awesome, let's go. Launch campaign. I don't remember where the fuck we left off. It's been a little while since we played this. And uh, I did get some major videos done in that time, though. We, um, I did, I finished the Ratchet and Clank video, and I'm really happy with how that turned out. I think it's a really good one. You guys go on channel, check that out. I'll leave a, a link in the description below and at the end of this video for you guys to watch if you have not watched that. Control, Delta here. Cole and Baird are heading to the surface with survivors for evac. Roger that, Delta. What about you and Dom? We're heading in deeper to the Nexus stronghold. We think we found the path. Copy that. We have groin lift reinforcements awaiting your signal. Thanks, Control. Dump no. out. Okay, so... I'm really happy with how that turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is crazy, it. man. Maria better not be down here. That was a fun, that was a fun game to Everything's do. Everything's gonna work out, Dom, all right. Yeah. And then we did uh, so. the May the 4th Star Wars Day video. You guys can check it out. Hard to believe out. this leads to a locust city. Feels too old. Yeah. Maybe that'll be our advantage. This would be the last route they think we'd take. And, um... Mm. That didn't turn out quite as well as I was hoping. Because, well, first off, we were going to play, um... <laughs> Dark Forces 2. Dark Forces 2 Je Jedi Knight. And I spent about an hour trying to get that fucking thing to work, right? And yeah. it was piss annoying because it would load up and it would play the opening cutscene. It would load the level and then it would crash. They're on! Watch it! And that's just how that game is in general for like newer systems. Yeah. It's one of those games. So I could not get it to run at all. I want your crossbow. Okay, feel okay. There we go. Then I wound up looking around online, and a lot of other people have had that that exact problem with uh, modern. You can take that uh, torque bow, whatever the hell it's called. Yeah, it's called a torque bow. A lot of people have had the exact same problem with uh, that just that <laughs> game on modern systems. And it's a shame because it only has one release, which is on PC, and it's a game worth playing, I mean, even if the graphics and controls might be a little dated. Yeah. So worth checking out. It was always back there. I didn't fucking see it. It was in that little, like, uh, cave area. Awesome. Okay. And I eventually, I was looking around online and I found a website that seemed to promise, that seemed to uh, have a password. What the fuck? It just teleported. 
I guess I triggered the the event. They got boats. Worse, gunboats. Got him. Okay. And then I found a website where it was supposed to, uh... Where are you at, uh, Have a pass... Oh, I actually hit him. Holy crap. <laughs> wow. And apparently that website, uh... Had the server where it was the place where it was hosted the server had a fire in February because that's the only thing it said on the website was that there was a Febu fire in February and they would need to rebuild. That was it. That's all it said. So uh, figures. I can't patch it. So I went with uh, Jedi Knight Two, Jedi Outcast, which is the third game in the series. It's got a weird game. In the series, okay. Yeah, really. I thought Street Fighter was bad. That because the audio didn't work. Like it, the, the audio, the audio would play. Oh wait, that's you. The uh, I could hear the in-game audio when I was playing the game, but for some reason it didn't record any of it. So when I was editing it, I decided to add in uh, game audio from. Uh, The Super Star Wars games and uh, Star Wars Dark Forces because I thought that uh, MIDI versions of Star Wars tracks would uh, keep me out of any kind of uh, copyright trouble. That, that didn't work. I still got it, it's still got claimed, but I don't make money on it anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. I would yeah. prefer it if, if our videos didn't get claimed. You know what I mean? Yeah. I guess I gotta get on that gunship, I guess. Oh, it's a file. Oh, oh I'm supposed to read. <coughs> We've been down here for weeks now. Was real creepy at first, but now it's kind of like camping. Well, camping with a fear of locusts killing uh, killing you, so maybe not really like camping at all. I actually liked camping. I don't like this crap. Weird as triplet. Weird as triplets that we're in this. Weird as triplets. Is that a phrase? Apparently so. In this game. Weird as triplets that we're in this hollow, but the surface got so hot, and I mean hot like dangerous hot, not skillet hot. I imagine if it was skillet hot, that'd still be kind of dangerous, but neither here nor there. We, we, had, we really had no choice but to come down here. Chaps is supposed to come down here soon too that'll be good could use that old geezer sense of humor right now sure could Stu. all right did i put yeah i put the music from super star wars and dark forces which those games have some damn good music on them. yeah it's many versions of star wars games for super star wars so yeah, you expect that to be good. Yeah. 
Star Wars music is good. Even in the bad movies, the music is still good. Yeah, that's like, the one consistent thing about the series. Like, I will give, uh... The Last Jedi credit for having good music. That's the only thing I'll give it credit for, because that film sucks, but... Looks like a boat at the end of the pier. We'll need that if we want to cross the lake. Can we take one of their boats? Yeah, really. Other than that, I think that was a fun video to do. That's yeah. I need to play it again. Yeah. It's been a while. Well, it got ported to current gen consoles, so. Yeah. I guess they're technically now last gen consoles, aren't they? Just gonna, yeah, it's gonna hard to wrap your head around at first. It's hard to get used to for a little while. Oh my god, what the fuck? They're charging towards me. Oh, you got him, okay. And then last but not least, we did a video on... Uh, Resident Evil. Village. Resident Evil. <laughs> I'm brain dead. I swear to God. Resident Evil Village. We did a, a video on Resident Evil Village, yeah. and that is the very first time we've ever used some of Dalton's gameplay. So you guys yeah, recently. That out. Yeah, I just started uh, uploading stuff on my YouTube channel for the first time ever. So I'll put a link to that. In the video. I don't really expect much. I just post. I post like random gameplay shit from different games. So far, mainly Resident Evil games. Stuff like that. Well, the, I'm given that everything on the uh, PlayStation 4 is backwards compatible, I'm sure you can record plenty of that on the PlayStation 5. Oh, hell yeah. There's a lot of Resident Evil on that system. I mean, a lot of fucking Resident Evil. Oh, yeah. I really need to get uh, Revelations 2 when the remakes. Yeah, the remakes are definitely worth checking out. I heard so much good to me about the remakes. About three. Yeah. Yeah, it's I mean, it's uh, the, uh, RE3 remake still a really good game though. I mean, it's still worth checking out. It's not as good as RE2 remake. I guess the the problem a lot of people have is some of the some of the things that were omitted from the remake that were in the original game, like certain parts of the game, and enemies and stuff. And also the game's pretty short too, but then again, the original game was short as well, so... Yeah, didn't it come, it came with a multiplayer thing that died almost immediately? Yeah, resist, uh, RE Resistance. I, I played a little bit of that, I mean, for a multiplayer game, I mean, it, it feels a little bit like Resident Evil, it's not like these, like, squad-based shooter like multiplayer games have been coming out over the past couple years. Every now and then they come out with some stupid, like Umbrella Core or Operation Raccoon City. Yeah. This thing looks fun. Yeah, Operation Raccoon City is uh, not even a new one. That boat's not no, no, that and Umbrella Core, they're just shit panned by everybody. I think that's for good reason. I mean, I, I actually got enjoyment out of them, but. They're not, they're not the greatest games still.
Yeah. And then, like, you play as these, like, new original characters and, like, the squad, and... It takes place during RE2, and you, like... At the end of the game, you actually, like, fight Chris, and you can choose rather to kill him or save him or not, like, uh, spare him or whatever. So you can you can kill Leon at the end of the game if you want, but it's either way it's dumb. I mean the multiplayer was actually kind of fun at the time, but obviously that shit's dead. You can still play it on uh, PC though, which is kind of interesting. Like the high frame, you can play it at uh, high frame rates and stuff, but it, it has an awful problem with games for Windows Live still. So it, it might be hard to play for a lot of people. I mean, I got mine working because I use my Microsoft account and it works, but for a lot of people, it might not be that easy to run. Yeah. Because for a lot of people, it freezes at the logging in screen, yeah. like the, the games for Windows screen. I wish there was a way to remove that from old games. Why they just drop off? They afraid of the emulsion cubes? That was something else. And actually beat uh, RE Village today, as a matter of fact. Yeah, how was it? It was really good. It's actually, I, I actually like it a little bit more than RE7, and I really liked RE7. Yeah, I like it. It's, it's, well. yeah, it's such a great blend of, uh, yeah, Village is such a great blend of RE7 and RE4. It's a, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, if you guys want to go to the gameplay channel, I have two gameplay demo on there. One on the PlayStation 4 and one on the Xbox One X at 4K 60fps with HDR. Thing, Playing it with You're HDR like uh, was a pain in the ass because my uh, screen that I used was bad. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, 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 the, the screen that I used for that was not support HDR. So, the entire thing was just pink. Every color was a shade of pink. It looks fucking weird. I mean, I, I, by that point I was familiar enough with the... With uh, the demo to beat it that way, but... I beat it for the sake of a better looking video for you guys on the gameplay Of course, we, we put out that demo video where we discussed the demo one day before the game. We're timely with these things. Yep. You know it. I haven't played through this game in a long, long time. Like, it might have been like 2012, 2013 when I Control, oh, Delta okay. here. You got a read on our position? Shit, guess not.
is it? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, the water's speeding up. That looks like a waterfall. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> that is a waterfall. It goes, it goes down. It goes down a long way. Holy <laughs> shit, look at that. No wonder they said fall back. <laughs> <laughs> I never tell you how much I hate the water. That sounds like trouble. There's something under the water! I don't see it. Yeah, but it's down there. Maybe we should go to the edge of the pier and shoot. Great resume, not going away. No kidding. I remember telling someone to do that. Come on! Came back to me and yelled at me the next day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame him. Oh shit, I died immediately. What the fuck? It was an instant kill. Yeah, he was pissed. He's like, how dare you? You got me killed, you asshole. <laughs> and like, yeah, I know. <laughs> but it's funny. It's a... If it hadn't been for me, you would have missed that cutscene. <laughs> wow. I don't even know where I learned that from originally. I think I, I think I learned it from TV actually, from G4 at the time. Because like, why would you ever even shoot? Like, I, guess, I guess there's fish in the water you can shoot, and you, if you miss, I guess that it, you eventually you would uh, attract them. But... Oh my god, what the fuck? What are we doing? Smacked me. That was literally right down on top of me. I'm deader than shit now. <laughs> this might take a while. That's what I'm thinking. I guess I got, oh, I guess I could just gotta shoot the tentacles in there on the boot. Just like Resident, the Resident Evil 4 fight, isn't it? Not too far off. Also kind of reminds me of that one a boss fight from RE5, too. The, the Irving boss fight.
There we go. Throw gr you, gotta go you gotta throw grenades in this mouth, apparently. Oh. Yeah, I was just, yeah, I was just gonna say, like, why is it giving us so many grenades? Great one, old yeah. one, whatever you want to call it. Not Del Lago. Biggest fish I've ever seen. Yeah. Wanna be Del Lago? Let's just get out of the goddamn water. I mean, you did shoot that thing in the mouth. It was with the harpoons, but still. Four is such a fucking good game. Find the highway to the Nexus. If you see a gun, I'm out of ammo for one of mine. Who keeps these lit? Hey Marcus, lit torches. I think we are sneaking in the back door. Okay, so I'm not the only one wondering about the lit torches. All right. Yeah, really. I feel better now. It wasn't just oversight. <laughs> That's got to be the highway. Well, then let's follow him to where the action is. Wait, Marcus. The old guy said we had to branch off the highway at the dam. Look. We need to stick to the mission. 
We have no idea if Maria's down here and every- I need to know. You don't have to go with me, all right? Damn it. That's just gonna get us both killed. We need to get into the stronghold and activate the beacon. This is it, Dom. This is everything we've been fighting for. Yeah? Well, Maria's everything I've been fighting for. She's my fucking wife, all right? So you gonna turn your back on your whole world then? The other gears we fought with? All the people who died? I'm sorry, Marcus. After what you did for your father, I thought you'd understand. Okay, so we're gonna get sidetracked as we go try to find his uh, wife. This can't end well.